Tonight, people are remembering the three victims of a deadly mass shooting at a store in Jacksonville. Law enforcement says the gunman, who was white, targeted three people because they were black. <sighs> I can't stand making videos like this, but it must be spoken about. Game to win. Game hard. Tonight, people are remembering the three victims of a deadly mass shooting at a store in Jacksonville. Law enforcement says the gunman, who was white, targeted three people because they were black. The sheriff identified the victims as 52-year-old Michelle Carr, 19-year-old A.J. Legary, and 29-year-old Gerald Gallion. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office released surveillance video of moments from the deadly shooting. It was a Dollar General store in a predominantly black neighborhood. Anyone who enters into a store and does this to perfectly innocent people, one doing his job, a couple of customers, um, is baffling to me. It's very difficult for me to watch. The sheriff identified the gunman as 21-year-old Ryan Christopher Palmiter. Authorities say he was armed with a handgun and an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. The sheriff's department says the shooter bought them legally and there were no red flags, even though he had been involuntarily committed for a mental health exam in 2017. All right, guys. Look, I'm not going to be before you too long, but this is something that must be spoken about. And why is that? Because there is a common trend in all these mass shootings, right? I remember when I was covering even the transgender woman who um, either it was a transgender woman or a transgender man, but pretty much she went back to its old um, elementary school and shot up a whole bunch of children. And, you know, this is one thing that you need to understand, right? These criminals out there, you need to understand the psychology of how they think. First and foremost, they are going to target people who they believe are unable to properly defend themselves. It's what you would call a soft target. In other words, if you are outside and you do not have no firearm for yourself, you don't have no knife, you don't have no nothing whatsoever to protect yourself, just understand you are a soft target. And for a criminal you would be the first person they are going to target, right? It makes no sense for them to try to target people they believe are able to defend themselves because it is a higher chance for them to be taken out and executed, right? So you need to just use common sense, you guys. Look, this is what you need to understand, right? This is why it is extremely important, right? Get out of those major cities and those blue state liberal-minded cities, cities like New York, cities like California, you name it. Get out of those places. And I'm not saying that as one just, you know, just to talk. I am from New York. I had to leave because you are not going to be able to properly defend your family or yourself when evil come knocking at your door. You just won't be able to. And it's extremely sad because here you have three innocent people just taken out and to think that it might be racially incited. This is what's so crazy to me. This is 2020. This is why, you see, you got to understand, you guys, racism is still a very real thing. <laughs> it's a very real thing. You know what I'm saying? I've moved down to Tennessee and I'll say this. It's a lot better in Tennessee than it is in New York, right? Because at least now I can able, I'm able to actually have a firearm, right? And here's another thing too, right? Before I might digress, but I'm still on track. You see, when you're in places like Tennessee, right? Or places where you are legally able to carry, what you need to understand is that if you go into a store, right? Again, this is the mindset of the criminal. If you go into, into a store, you have your firearm and you know everybody else has their firearm. You're not going to be so quick to start a fight, to start to argue with people because you know that your life could be snuffed out just like this. Do you understand? So everybody is cordial and everybody is policing one another. You see, 
that's what makes it safe. This is why you never hear about these mass shootings that take place in Tennessee. And, you know, even when these, these things do happen, best believe the police officers and the civilians and the civilians, they take them out quickly, extremely quickly. So getting back on point, when I came over to Tennessee, right, although many people are cordial, just understand, just because somebody smiles in your face, that does not mean that they actually care about you or that they love you or that they somehow your buddy and your chum chum and your good old pals. No. I, again, racism still very much exists. It is extremely unfortunate. Now, me saying this, does that mean I want you guys to hate white people? No. You, you use some type of common sense, please. Just use some common sense. All, right? All white people are not bad. That's not what I'm saying. Don't just j jump overboard, you know what I'm saying, and run with a little bit of information that I'm giving you. But what I am saying is that do not be a soft target. Don't just assume because... What is it? Normalcy bias. You know, it never happened to you, so it can't possibly happen, right? It didn't happen to you, so it can't possibly happen, right? Now, if you are a functioning individual, a well-thinking individual, obviously you know that the answer is no, right? That is not correct. Don't operate in this stupid normalcy bias and operate in cognitive dissonance and just assume that just because you don't want to believe something or just because it never happened to you that it is impossible for it to happen. Please protect yourselves, you guys. Please be wise and just protect yourselves and your family. I mean, again, for those of you who are so liberal and you hear you want to always fight against guns, listen, a gun is not going to float in the air and start shooting people. It's always the people behind the gun that start shooting people. Understand that. All right? So there is not the problem is not the guns. The problem is with the people who have mental illness. Man, it is unfortunate that this took place. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys heard the message. With that being said, Nick over and out. The message sent. Jesus is king, y'all.